Hello, YouTube. The Zunk Zunk here again with a, another diecast review, and this one's well, it's not really a special one, but it's um for most of the time I've been doing the uh, NASCAR Authentics line from the from Spin Master, the 164s, 2011 and 2012 cars, and today I have two uh, really nice cars, but they are from NASCAR.com. I ordered them. Uh, a few months ago, actually, uh, I've had them for a while. They're about, you know, they're about six bucks each. They're really nice cars, and you can tell there's a difference between them and the, uh, Spin Master cars. Just slight differences, but these are really nice cars as well. So let's get to them. I got two here today for you. First one, number 11, my boy, Denny Hamlin, FedEx Ground. Toyota, probably my favorite. Denny Hamlin car. I really like his blue one too. I mean, all his cars are awesome. I don't really like the red one that much, even though he won in New Hampshire with that, so that was pretty sweet. Um, he's won in this in Kansas this year and in Bristol this year. So two wins in this one for Denny Hamlin this year in 2012. Um, he came eight today in Dover, so could have finished better, but whatever. We'll take it. Uh, so let's get to the car. FedEx Ground, 11, 11, FedEx Ground, FedEx Ground, FedEx.com, Toyota. You can see with the 2012s, it's got the little uh, mufflers there. FedEx Ground, 11, Sprint Cup sponsors, Sherwin-Williams, Freightliner, Mac Tools, Duzon, Coca-Cola, Toyota, Cam Toyota Camry. Uh, the bottom of the tires are a little thinner. I'm going to show you an example in a second of the two Denny cars I have. Uh, the differences between those, but first, let's get to this one, the second one, Kyle Busch's main m and paint scheme for 2012, he won the Bud Shootout in this one, and yeah, in Richmond he won in his Miss Brown paint scheme, which I do not have yet, but this is maybe my favorite car, I'm not, I can't decide if I like his old paint scheme better, this one here, or this one, this one's just so much of a ch change, all that brown at the bottom now, there's no orange m, &M here, there should be more brown. I don't know why it's not one of the smaller die casts. But pretty nice. Uh, red 18. So, main sponsor. The other thing I like about Kyle Busch, I mean, every other sponsor has, or every other car has their sponsor name around the front. He technically does not. He should say M&M's here, but he has three M&M's. If different colors, just as M&M. So really, he's like one of the only drivers who doesn't have a sponsor's name on the front of his car. Um... There it is, right there. That just says M. So, three M and M's there. Eighteen. Sprint Cup sponsors: Interstate Batteries, Doosan, Freightliner, Mac Tools, Sherwin Williams, Siemens, Interstate Batteries, Kyle Busch, Double Mint, M and M's, Toyota, Little Green Girl, uh, Red Guy, Interstate Batteries, Interstate Batteries, Doosan, Mac Tools, Sherwin Williams, Siemens, Food Lion, Freightliner. Ooh, man, all these monsters are tough. Snickers, Twix, Milky Way, Double Mint. Well, I'll never read that one. Um, and Sprint Cup sponsors. On this side, Snickers, Twix, Milky Way, Double Mint. Same ones. And they're a little off on this side, a little lower, but that's really hard to tell. So, two really nice cars. Uh, my two favorite drivers for Joe Gibbs Racing. And, um... These are probably my two favorite schemes from both of them, so I got them both. And now I'm going to show you comparison. So, I got the Denny Ham one, one and then I got the Cobblish one. Now, unfortunately, both these uh, Spin Master ones are 2011. These are both 2012, but still, uh, some differences. Like Denny Ham one, um, there's definitely more white here than his 2011 car. It's sort of a thinner white there, and this goes up farther here. It's just a nice white stripe that gets cut off by the grill. Um, so the difference, I think but the difference is because these uh, NASCAR.com ones, they have such a smaller spoiler, like they're running at Daytona. See the different um, size of spoiler there. This one's much taller. It's also much thicker. Or wider too. This one goes here. And it's black, it's a black spoiler, and this one's green, so I'm guessing on the original it would be orange. That's the difference. 
um, bottom. See, it's got the whole splitter here. This one's sort of just got the plastic line, so it's attached. And this one, the splitter is just part of the main body. Uh, tires are a lot thinner on this one, and the details just a little bit better on this one. I find shinier. Uh, this one shows like the under license. This one does not. Uh, yeah. You can't really see from this view, but this one's also a little thicker. Let's show you here. If I put them like this, ooh, yeah. So this one, the orange one, is just about maybe a few millimeters thicker. So those are really the major differences between these two cars. Other than that, very like oh, also the windows. This one's got it's like, a, it's like a point there where the Toyota is, and this one's got a very abrupt curve there, a little white Toyota. So that's the other big difference. And the cobbler's car is basically all the same differences. Uh, you know, this one's got the splitter here, and this one it's got a little plastic and the t thinner tires. Oh, the spoiler's much smaller, and the car's a just a little bit thinner. So yeah, thank you for watching my comparison. These are two sweet cars. Um, leave a like for more.